Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my friend Shuja and we are entering our second year of medical school at UBC in the fall and in today's video we'll be writing the MCAT right after this intro. Let's go! Okay, welcome back everyone. If this is your first video that you're watching of mine, I want to say a big thank you and welcome to this channel. On this channel, I like to make medicine related vlogs, I like to make health and fitness videos, travel vlogs, and other fun challenges just like this one. So last week, I released my ultimate guide to preparing for the MCAT, so I thought it made sense to write the MCAT today with my friend Shuja. The last time we wrote our MCAT was in 2017, which is about three years ago, so I thought it'd be kind of interesting to write it again, see how, uh, how much we remember, what we don't remember, and hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves. And ideally, it would be kind of interesting to do this whole video again in three years when we're actual MDs in 2023. Now, that being said, before we get into this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. So for today's video, we'll be doing the 20 minute Kaplan MCAT workout. And just to clarify, we are not sponsored by Kaplan and we haven't seen any of the questions. I don't know, I'm pretty excited to do this. What do you think, Shuda? It'll be interesting. I haven't done it for like three years now. So. Yeah, should we get right into it? Let's try. Okay, hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves. Um, <laughs> Let's go you know, get a single question. <laughs> And we are live. Let's do this. <coughs> Which is not a characteristic of proteins? It's okay. This should be pretty simple. Okay. Can yeah. I self replicate? No. no. Can act as a hormone. It can act as yeah. a hormone. It does act in cell membrane right. trafficking and it can bind foreign material. Okay. That's this one. Yeah. The okay. So this is what I remember angiotensin 1 to yeah. angiotensin 2, and then that's going to go and activate ACE. Oh, it prevents it. Okay, my right. Bad. Okay. So yeah. if a drug is inhibiting that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. means it's going to stop increased sodium reabsorption. It's going to stop increased blood pressure. Yeah. I don't know if it affects pH. Um, if anything, I think it would be potassium reabsorption. Yeah. Because yeah, sodium be the reverse, comes right? in, potassium goes out. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. I, I totally skipped over <laughs> the word prevent. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the MK tried to trick you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which of the following is an amide? So this is where my chem minor should come into uh, helpfulness here. <laughs> um, the following is an amide. An amide was basically when there's like a, um, <laughs> it's like a carboxylic acid group. Um, and I think, it's not NO2, it's right here, amide. So basically um, the carbonyl oxygen, yeah. and then it's attached to <clears throat> a, a, nitrogen? a nitrogen. Okay. I'm pretty sure. We'll go with that. I hope so. Or was it this? No, that's an amine. I mean, it's like a secondary amine. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Because okay. it has two, two carbons coming out of it. Yeah, okay. I'm confident with this yeah, option. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which of the following is R true with regard to new relation? What's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is new relation? Because oh <laughs> the neural tube differentiates in from endoderm. The neural tube becomes the peripheral nervous system. Neural crest cells migrate from the original states. Okay, I think... Three is right. They yeah. do migrate. Yeah. Um, differentials from endoderm. Does the neural tube become the central nervous system? I think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't not too peripheral, no. But does it differentiate from endoderm? Endo. Is it know. mesoderm that forms? That's what I'm thinking because it was always like in the middle of the right, in the middle of the diagram. And then yeah. Kind of, we did this last but, semester, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it was uh, oh, yeah. first semester of school. Semester. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, let's go with. No, but isn't it like the outside ectoderm kind of folds on itself, and then that causes the neural tube to form? I don't know why. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, I think it's three only. Three but only. Okay. Let's go with that. Yeah. Let's go with that. Let's go with it. Okay. You're the smartest guy I know, man. No. <laughs> I don't know. Why isn't it moving? Okay. <laughs> this pro <laughs> question five. The, this process is completed. So this is, um, what was it? Combustion? Right? Or the, not combustion. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this process is the opposite of photosynthesis. Yeah. Um, and that's completed. What's the breakdown of glucose? Yeah. Breakdown of glucose happens in the mitochondria? Yeah. Or in the cytoplasm? Oh, see that's smart. But yeah, yeah, no, you're right. In the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, they, right? And the mitochondria is when it takes all those um, NADH. The pyruvate. Yeah, pyruvate. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. In the cytoplasm. Okay. 
given the blow series of reactions leading to formation of products D and E, which is the rate determining step? Easy. Okay, oh. so in chemistry, the slowest step is the rate determining step, uh, and that's. See, the numbering doesn't match, right? Yeah. They should, but I'm assuming. One is this one? Yeah, probably. Okay. okay. What is the response of the immune system to downregulation of MHC molecules on somatic cells? Okay, so that usually happens when, um, if there's like a viral infection, and then it'll inhibit the MHC1 molecule being um, expressed. Mm -hmm. But then, so that, that, so that T cells can't attack it. But then there's, I think, natural killer cells that are still going around. And if they see that, then they'll cause that cell to die. So I think I want to say the natural killer cells. I agree with you. <clears throat> okay. Trying to remember from my immunology background. <laughs> okay, question eight. A person suffers from food poisoning after eating a spoiled lemon and later finds that the smell of limes and other citrus fruits makes her nauseous. This is an example of generalization? Probably. I think so. I think this was in the Khan Academy <clears throat> notes. If you watched my previous from ultimate, <laughs> okay, so in the Khan Academy uh, videos, yeah. they released like a 300 page document. Have you seen this? No. Oh my god. See, this is why you watch my ultimate guide to wow. MCAT. This is how you study preparation. You don't know? Oh my god. I've read the books. <laughs> okay, there's a 300 page guide okay. and there's a 100 page guide made by Khan Academy that uh -huh. you can read, and it literally goes over everything you need to know for the psychology and sociology section, Dude. and someone put it into an Anki deck. So for the second time around, when I was studying for my MCAT, I didn't yeah. even touch any of the MCAT books wow. for psychology and sociology. Just, wow. I just went through those That's documents. So smart. See, I read all those books again. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, there you go. There's no right way to do it. <laughs> okay, next question. How many different types of gametes would be produced by an organism of genotype that if all of the genes are sort independently? What do you think you should try? Uh, okay. So... It's a diploid, right? Because it has two of each? Yeah. So that would be... How many do we make? Eight? Um... Yeah. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't this two to the power of four? No, two to the power of five, two times two, four, four times two, eight, eight times two. Oh, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Well, two to the power of four is 30, uh, 16, right? Is it two times two, four? Two times four, eight, four times two, four times two yeah. eight. 16? Mm -hmm. I think it's 16, then. Yeah. But there's five of them here <coughs> A, B, C, D, E. Oh. I don't remember this. Should we go at 16? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Wow. She's not worried about a broken arm at all, right? Yeah. Um, no okay, yeah. it's not histrionic personality. Oh. It doesn't seem like anxiety, I think. No. Okay, so we can cancel those two out. Can I forget what histrionic is when I forget. Conversion sounds right. I think so too. Yeah. Like you're converting your worry yeah. to something else okay maybe let's go with that how many structural isomers that are capable of exhibiting optical activity are we supposed to know this off the top of our head <laughs> um or maybe we're supposed to draw this out because optical activity would mean that it's not a chiral center right yeah oh and then you just find the chiral centers mm. and you do two to the power <clears throat> of that you're gonna draw it out Six man, six foot man, <laughs> 100 pound weight from the floor to a height, one foot above his head. Okay, how much work is done? The formula for that was force times distance. I don't know why I remember that. Yeah. Uh, force being 100 pounds and distance being seven, seven feet. So yeah, Wait, 700 foot pounds. One, one, one feet, right? No, to one feet above his head. Oh. This is yeah. how the MCAT gets you, fam. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, which statement about cyclic CAMP is not true? It's from from the interview, I think that. But that's is, true. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the kind of lessons from CAMP is that sounds right. Yeah, that's not right, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that sounds true. Yeah. That's wait, a, is that that's false? Wait, it's not adenylate cyclase, is it? Which one is it? Uh, okay. So yes, yeah, enzyme that catalyzes CAMP is generally located on the cytoplasm. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
CMP is regarded as secondary. That's yeah, true. That's true. So then I don't think it's that. I think it's a. Uh, that one doesn't sound right. Information is generally located in the cytoplasm. Wait, the EMP is made when you break down ATP. Or we have it should be in the cytoplasm. Okay, so I think maybe you're right. Yeah, that one doesn't sound right. Adenylate cyclase? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe. Okay, I think that's we'll find the least. Okay. True. A patient who resides in the United States says, I love you and hugs his doctor after every routine visit. <laughs> this behavior <laughs> violates. Okay, that's fighting to the next level. <laughs> patient <isn't it>? autonomy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what do you think? Social norms, I'd say. Yeah, right? I'd agree. Social, Social values? No. No. The doctor no. appreciates love yeah. more than. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Potential danger involved with ingesting certain compounds associated with their solubility in the body's aqueous environment. Which of the following would be the most soluble in water? Oh. Okay, my chemistry background. Let's use this. Okay, alcohols are generally um, soluble because of the polar uh, nature of their. Yeah structures and uh, you want the smaller chain yeah. um, because yeah that's mm -hmm. less non-polar. <laughs> on the yeah, last yeah. question now. No wait, aren't they 20? Oh, no, 16, 16 questions. 16 questions in 20 okay. minutes. Uh, which of the following best describes the populations targeted by Medicare and Medicaid? I think that is for the states, right? Yeah. We don't have that here, but if we had to take a guess, what do you think? I think Medicaid was for the older folks, right? Isn't I think Medicaid. So I think last option, Medicaid, mostly patients in the older age groups, and then Medicare. That one? Yeah, uh, let me just Medicare. Your guess is as good as mine, man. I don't know anything about the states. I think I'm gonna go with that, yeah. Because I said Medicare for all, right? So that was no, usually for people who are of low socioeconomic status. Mm -hmm. And Medicaid, I think, is for older. Okay, Thanks. let's do it. 75%? Okay. Hey, that's, that's, not, that's not bad, bad right? I mean, like, for, for our first time after three years? Yeah, that's not bad, right? I think we did good. Should, should we look at the answers? I mean, there's two of us answering the questions. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah we picked that. Yep. Yeah, we picked that one, right? Yeah, we picked that one. Nature, yeah. Yeah. Correct answer is B. Yeah, oh, we did. did. Nice. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, remember. Correct answer is C. Ooh, we picked A for this in the cytoplasm. Wait. Oh, the opposite. Because, oh, you, you know why? Because you're mixing it with oxygen, and that happens in. Um, oh, the mitochondria. Ah. That's the. That's the okay. um, aerobic respiration. Right? Yeah. Don't know how I missed that. Okay, good. We got that. Yeah. Even though they didn't do a good job numbering it, but oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got that. Got that? B generalization. Yeah, we picked that. Yes, we did. Yeah. Number nine. Answer is B. Okay. So it's two to the power of three, Why where three? N is the number of heterozygous gene pairs. Oh. So A, A, C, C, and then D, D. Ah. See, the, you just kind of have to know it all, I don't know. Maybe you could, like. I remember it. the formula. I think I mentioned it, but I just mm -hmm. didn't remember the whole heterozygous pairs. Yeah, yeah, you did say two to the power or something, and you were saying there's five of them. But yeah. I guess what we were looking for was that there's three. three. Okay, that's fine. Uh, conversion. Hey, we okay, guessed on that one. Got it. Awesome. Uh, B. Wait, we, we chose that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? And how many structures? We drew two of the structures. Mm hmm. But, okay. Anyways. We got this one, right? Oh yeah, That's yeah good. you got that one, right? <laughs> Where it equals four times distance. Um, what's the statement about cyclic? Answer it. Is what? Oh, it is a dentalite cyclist answer? Oh, what? Okay. Oh, it's inner layer of the phospholipid bilayer. Oh, that, okay, that's too specific. Oh, uh, yeah. That's too specific. Okay. Anyways. That's You're not going to need to know that, yeah. <laughs> okay, question 14. Wait. A patient who resides and says, I love you, de-social, yeah, yeah, societal norms, good. Mm -hmm. got that was all you? That one, that one. Right two? Nice. Last one. Is that what we picked? No, wait. No, that was, I chose so, the wrong one. Yeah, I chose Medicare the is for older people and Medicaid uh, is for certain socioeconomic. Hey, so if we go to the States now and become doctors there, eventually we'll know about this. <laughs> Anyways, we did pretty well, man. 75%. Not, high five. Not, not bad That's at all. good. Especially because we haven't read the, wrote or studied for the MCAT in three years. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's good. All right, I think we're going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Don't forget to comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new videos every Saturday at 10 a.m. And until next time, tons of peace.
Come on, Shinji, you gotta do it with me. Tons of peace, oh, man. <laughs> love, oh, and games <laughs> for you! Ah! Uh. Bro, you had to do the peace, love. Bro, that's <laughs> over, bro. <laughs> I'm from mom and castle. Down like ground like gravel. Coming back around like lasso. Macro, macro, Like a vision board, I see with clarity. I hustle like my name is Gary V. For more than the wealth of prosperity. Accountants was talking about equity. I'm Triple H giving the pedigree. The mean and I'm special, my specialty. I'm putting the work till I'm dirt in the earth. I'm moving furniture to Beverly.